probably here. Somewhere. So we could be pushed into this cove here. Could be. No, we have to assume our own responsibilities here. We have to say it as it is. We thought it was okay and it really wasn't. Well, yesterday, looking across, you could clearly see where the open water was. Yeah, yeah, the open water yesterday was all, all alongside yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It was, all this was open yesterday. Yeah. And I think that this morning it was still yeah, open. Oh, there's an... We can go climb a little mountain and see where the water is. You know how far these mountains are? Eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. It'll take us a day just to get to the edge. It's okay. I totally disagree. You have no idea how far it is, if someone goes in, whatever. I don't think it's a good idea. I think should... Well, I mean, I'd love to go to the mountains, but like Laurent says, you go to the mountains and he drifts another, how many miles a different direction, or everything opens up and you're swimming for five miles back going to the boat and he pack, can't get going to you. Going with your backpack through yeah. this. Here we are. We managed to break free in the twilight of the polar night, after just one day of entrapment, while de Gerlache and his crew had to endure 377 days in this deadlocked position. Those were very intense moments for us, and they gave us a sense of what the crew of the Belgica must have lived through. Once we were out, the Antarctic waters continued to challenge us with hostile weather conditions and massive amounts of scattered ice blocks requiring very alert steering at the wheel. This is Antarctica, a raw wilderness with ever so many rapidly changing faces. A beautiful wilderness, mysterious, merciless and moody. This last continent humbles our sense of humanity and puts it in an appropriate perspective to Mother Nature. While de Gerlache was one of the first to discover this land, there remains so much more that never will nor ever should be discovered.